we do mac and cheese, chicken, and crab boils. Okay, I don't see them. Do they do crab boils in Africa? No. <laughs> Hello, welcome to my channel once again, once again, once again. Listen, today, the video that I'm bringing to you is about, I don't even know how to even describe it. She's black. She has lived her life in the US, or perhaps her great grandparents all lived their lives in the US. So she doesn't want to be classified as African American. Listen, I want, I want us to watch her video then when we come back, when we talk about it. A lot of Africans coming for me with their nationality, with their flags in their bio, getting mad at me because I want to be called an American. Black American over African American because I'm not African. I don't know nothing about African culture. And I'm from the South. We do mac and cheese, chicken, and crab boils. Okay, I don't see them. Do they do crab boils in Africa? No, that, just because they have crab boils at some po as, in some parts in Africa does not mean that it's not a Southern American dish. Do we hyphenate African with any of you guys' nationality? Can I go to Jamaica and see you guys calling yourself African Jamaicans? For a long time, we have been aiding in our own genocide, okay, by calling everybody black. Everybody's not black. Everybody's not one of us. And I get black as a race, but at some point, we need to make a distinction. What's the issue with black Americans having their own culture? We have our own culture here in America. We're different from the rest of you and the rest of the world. Can I go to Africa or Jamaica and claim to be Jamaican? No, I cannot. But anybody, any, any person that looks like me can come to America and claim to be one of us and take our accolades and accomplishments away just because they look like us. Like take the president, take Obama and Kamala, for example. Kamala is a... Indian and Jamaican descent, but she's called the first African-American vice president. Yeah, right. She has no black American lineage in this country and neither does Barack Obama. Y'all low key still buying into like slavery and stuff by not calling yourself an American. Okay. You're not an African-American. Like we've been here at this point, we've been here for like hundreds and hundreds of years. What is African? I don't know nothing about Africa. I can't name not one African dish. I don't know none of those languages they speak down there in Africa. How am I African-American? Elon Musk is a white man, but he is from South Africa. So how am I African-American if Elon Musk is African-American? I have nothing against Africans, nothing against immigrants. I'm obviously of African descent. But the point is the classification they give us in America as African-Americans when we've never been to Africa. So this is her problem. That's why are people calling her or classifying her? as african-american while she, she doesn't even know anything about africa i don't have a problem with whatever she said you know everything that she said i think 90 percent of what she said i don't have a problem with it the only problem that i have is if today in america white people decide to tell every black person to leave america listen you will definitely be part you are even going to be part of the first people that will be kicked out because you are really really black you understand we have the likes of let's say obama his color um someone like kamala harris and all that well, i think one thing that she doesn't know or she doesn't understand why people are perhaps are calling her african-american is that she perhaps she doesn't know i don't know whether she knows about the history of these white people coming down to west africa or africa and taking africans from here to the Caribbeans and to Americas and the Europe. I don't know whether she's aware of that, but if she is not aware, then this is actually one of the reasons why people are calling because that history is there. It is different. It, it is different when this history, like there is no history like this, there for people to reference, say to, and decide that they are calling you people or people who look like you african-americans and another thing is i feel she has to do a dna an ancestral dna for her to know where she's actually from because i learned there were black people also in america already before even the whites came you know so just do your ancestral dna if you do ancestral dna and you see that you are part of those indigenous the indigenous black people that were there before even the white people came 
I will respect that. You understand? But if not, and you do your you do your DNA, and your DNA say you are twenty percent Nigerian, ten percent Ghanaian, or whatever, that's when we will start talking and having this conversation because no matter what you do in America right now, everybody with your skin color that is not like hidden, very clear for everybody to see you will definitely be called african-american i know that some people don't like that name and they want to be called black americans i respect that yes and for me we should not force anybody to become african whilst they are not ready or they don't want to become africans you understand so let's leave it like that as she wants to be called that and again she was talking about Barack Obama not being African American. Yeah, 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 yeah. Barack Obama's father is from Kenya. Maybe she has not made that research, but Barack Obama's father is from Kenya and Barack Obama even visited. So for Barack Obama, Barack Obama is not even part of the African Americans that I would say they were enslaved from Africa to he is like, he knows his background clearly that he's from Kenya. He knows clearly that he's from Kenya. So for him, he's African. Everybody can call him African American. Kamala Harry, the other hand, she's Indian and Jamaican. I don't know her parents, but most of the people that are from Jamaica, most of them are from West Africa, especially Ghana and Nigeria. So if I don't know whether her mother or her father was the one who is from who was from jamaica always from jamaica and if she is black then you should know most of these people were taken from here in africa and they were sent to the caribbeans and today as i'm speaking with you there are so many things that it's it's clear for people to see that most jamaicans or blacks from the from jamaica are Ghanaians, and most of them are vivid have accepted this and they are coming back to to their roots there are a lot of jamaicans or people from the caribbean who are now living in ghana a lot of african americans or black americans that are also purchasing lands or have purchased land and they are living in in ghana right now so this is opinion and i respect it yes but i just want to point out these should i call it mistakes that she made in her statement so hey i respect you i respect everything that you said you want to be called black american and it's fine yes yeah but the only problem i have is that if they are assembling black people in africa right now and they are sending them back to africa you are going to be part of the first ever people sent back to africa so let's not deceive ourselves that's what i want to say let's not deceive ourselves because we are deceiving ourselves trying to be part of america or to be to be americans whilst we are not thank you so much for watching